Hello, and welcome back to National Busways West Scotland, here at the Palmody Garage in Glasgow, where we are looking at some of the uh, trial batch of B7L Right Eclipse metros that are actually going to become very relevant in this episode. As you can see, the money has gone brrr almost entirely by itself. There is one loan out, but I didn't take it out for this. It was just one of the ones that I had already taken out and not repaid. So, well, you may know, in fact I hope you know, if you've been watching for some time, that the B7L metros are used on a sort of orbital service nowhere near Palmody. They are used on the 108 between Bearsden and Newton Mairns, which is all the way down here. This route's actually huge. And so, you know, it goes via, like, the, this road, I can't remember what it's called, but this road, uh, it goes up through Silverburn where it dips into the shopping centre, has a little stint on Paisley Road where it can interchange with the 101 and one, uh, with the 1 and 101, goes through the Clyde Tunnel, through Annie's Land Cross, and then up and terminates in Bearsden. And the, the plan from the start of the series was to have a massive orbital route that would be numbered the 90. But I received a comment several episodes ago now, in fact quite a while ago, that, you know, sort of pondered that the 90 would be very, very long and very prone to delays. It would take, you know, over three hours to go from end to end, and no matter how much padding I put on it, would it would be very hard to tame. So, what I should do is break up the concept of the outer circuit into a super loop style of routes, and I didn't want to be saying that word this early into the episode, but you know what I mean. Like a little route, a little network of routes that form a little ring. So I've made a few liveries, and the 108 is going to form part of it. So if I zoom out, I've done a little bit of work at the garage, um, mostly in terms of changing mini spaces we don't need into some full size ones, and I've put in, finally, how many episodes are we? I've put the paint shop. We have a paint shop in, in, the, in the thing, and there's a bunch of liveries for what I'm calling the Glasgow Orbits, because, you know, I'm creative like that. So, these B7Ls are going to be in, on Orbit 108, and the Orbits are going to occupy the low 100 series. So the 108 is going to be the highest numbered orbit, and obviously 100 and 101 are taken by the Glasgow Airport Express, but that's fine. The lowest numbered orbit is the 102, which we actually can't put in because we don't have Mulgive, which is up here. Um, once we have Mulgive, I'll be able to put in the 102, and once we have Faithfully, which is up here, I'll be able to put in the 103. But as the map is, I believe I can put in the rest of the network the 104, 5, 6, and 7. So today, I'm going to put in the 106 and 105, which are going to be run out of uh, Palmody. Or oh, I'm going to look at the 106, 105, which are going to be put out at Palmody, and the 107, which is going to be out of Paisley, which is obviously PY over here. Um... I don't know how much of that I'll get round to today, but that's the general thing. We're going to be putting in pretty much the southern end of the Glasgow orbits, which I'm very excited about. So, I'm going to grab... Is the 30 in its own colour? The 30 is not in its own colour. So I'm just going to grab the colour of the 30s. And we're going to do our first orbits route which I'm going to say will be the 10... Let's have this one be the 106. And I'm going to check my spreadsheet to uh, remember which one the 106 is. That is the Newton Mins to uh, Castle Milk. Again, I love Castle Milk as a name. It's such a funny name. There we go. 
Newton man's Castle milk. So Newton man's Castle milk is not possible to do in a particularly direct fashion because there's like very few roads over here so you've got to come up then down through Clarkson and Carmanac. So even though it feels really short as the crow flies, it's it's going to take some time, which is sort of a good thing. So, uh, another point is where on earth do we terminate it in Newton Metz? Because there's no real terminus. So I think I'm going to shove it into here, like how we have the 108 turning around at Maidenhill. The 106 is going to turn around in whatever this is. West Acres. Let's call it West Acres. So, time lapse me if you don't mind. the first new route in the Glasgow orbits. The 106 between Newton Mans and Castle Milk. I believe it's going to be the shortest route uh, in the entire system. It's 18 miles return, so about 9 miles each way. And yeah, just pretty much there and back, apart from the fact that it's a little bit indirect because of the way the roads are laid out around here. So there you go. As for the timetable, I'm going to standardise the timetables across the orbits so that it'll be very predictable, and it's going to be every 15 minutes through the day with 12 minute service in peak times. So every route says up to every 12 minutes on the side. So let's just see how it handles 15 minutes. It should be fine with single deckers, I hope it's fine, yeah it'll be fine with single deckers. They'll get busy, but it should be fine. So, uh, this is going to terminate at the Castle Milk side at a stop called, or at the um, St. Martin's Church stop. I think it's St. Martin's? Castle Milk St. Martin's. 
I'll find it when I get to it. Yeah, Carlson works at Martins. I love that stop is like one word different to one of the other like colleges at my uni. It's like Central St. Martins, Castle Milk St. Martins. It's like, oh, the rivalry. The rivalry is coming back to haunt me. Anyway, that's enough about my life. One minute at Newton Men's Town Centre, Air Road. And I'll make the timetable in a little jump cut because I can imagine that this would get quite long. So the timetable for the 106 is done. It's very, very simple, just a Monday, Saturday is bound westbound and a Sunday is bound westbound. And it's every 15 minutes also on a Sunday, but with much reduced operating hours. So that's going to go from PO later. So, just a quick overview of the 106. It's this thing. Very nice. The 107 is also going to start from a loop like this in Castle Milk. It's just going to be the inverse. Uh, speaking of, let's get to the 107. So, 107 time. Get the hex code. New route. I'm about sure. Now, the 107 runs from. Oh no, sorry, not the 107, the 105. Runs from Castle Milk to Glasgow Fort Retail Park via Canvas Lang and Bar Lanark. It's a significantly longer leg than the 106. So, let's get the 105. Uh, Castle Milk to Glasgow Fort. There we go. And this one. It's going to go around the, around the loop that way, so time lapse me if you don't mind. is the new 105 from Castle Milk to Glasgow Fort via Canvas Lang, which is here, marked out with a big name, and Barlanic, which is here. It's got no name associated with it, but Barlanic. It was important enough for me to set as a waypoint in my spreadsheet, so you know. I typically only give myself two of those, by the way, so yeah. But these are the first well, this is the sort of the next addition to the uh, to the network. So again, timetable soon TM. And the timetable for the one hundred and five is done. 
Very similar, I decided I wouldn't use this second stop at Glasgow Fort as like a departure stand. Um, so you know, that's that. That's also going to be assigned from PO and we'll activate it later. So, so far, so good. We have the 105, which is this one, and the 106, which is this one. Now I have just realised that the buses that I intend to run on the 105 and 106 I've not entirely finished deliveries for. I just need to put them on the on the template. So I'm probably going to take a little break from recording and get those done. So I've gone off camera and uh, you know put the B10 liveries in or the B10s liveries, I finished them, even. That was really out of order. Anyway, here are the uh, orbits, routes, and what vehicle types they're going to use. So we're going to be using B10s on the 103, 104, 105, and 106, and what, uh, B7s on the 102, 107, and 108. This first set of 10 I'm going to order for the 106, which, as you can see, it sort of looks like a double decker, but I've chopped the I've chopped the upper deck off. I've decided that this is going to be called a land or swoop because of the you know sort of swoop at the front, and the sort of storyline behind it is that back in the late nineteen eighties when national busways were getting founded, they trialed a bunch of different ways of incorporating the livery, and swoop was one of them. And while Swoop, you know, didn't go forward as delivery for National Busways, Swoop was used for route branding in some cases. You know, it would be one of the ways that you could implement a route branding. And of course, it's a current reskin from me. So it's got PO, the gauge code, and the type code, and it's got legals. Very fun little uh, slogan on the back there, run rings around town with Orbit 106. And obviously that number will change for each route. But isn't this fun? So, uh, let's apply. Then let's get uh, two more I need for the 106. They're in their own vehicle group, of course. Import repaint, uh, orbit 106. There we go. So these are going to go straight on from VW118. So these are going to start out as VW119. And don't they look wonderful? These things are so gorgeous. With their blue roofs, they stand out against the sort of sea of this... This white is actually a really, really light pale orange. Um, any asset that I make in this color, which would be if I exported this Glasgow text separately, would be in this color. I call it salmon, which makes it sound a lot less pretty. But, you know. Let's get everyone parked up. These ones, I think, can stay roughly where they are. I'll move these down. But, you know, these things are actually gorgeous. Um, as for the root colours, I'm colourblind, so um, the root colours are decided by the colour guide panel in Adobe Illustrator set to one of the various color science modes. Color science is very interesting um, and it's very helpful for people like me because it's like why you know why do color visually when you can do it by science and maths you know? Anywho here's our Renaults. They are actually beautiful. They are actually actually beautiful vehicles like I like the Renown anyway but in this scheme they are just gorgeous 
and you can almost see like you know that angle is almost in there and it's really nice because you've got that sort of double angle going on it looks they look quite fast you know that i mean that was the point of the lando scheme was to look quite fast but also be very straight laced so those are the 12 for that and then we're going to have 14 for the 105 so let's buy another set of 10 and also all of the orbits uh, vehicles will have PISs as standard. Orbits, B10, BLE, BWs, there we go. Doop. Import repaint and this one is the Orbit 105. So this just uses a lighter orange. I think a lot of these are lighter oranges. And then there's like a couple blue ones. There's one that's like a like a burgundy, and I think the 107 is like a grey burgundy. It's really, really nice. So that was 10. Now I need to buy another four. So let's go 105 and we'll buy four. I can't afford four. But that's fine, I have many loan. Uh, you, I'll be able to pay you back like straight away. So let's buy new bus. Let's go and buy Beta Billy. And in group 105, we'll buy four of them. Import repaint. Orbit 105. Isn't it pretty? Apply and buy. So I'm just going to pause the game and just sort of park the first three, like right next to the right next to the uh, 106's batch. Then the next three, which I will say are you, you, ooh, lags back. Love that when that happens, isn't that lovely? Oh, and they're all inside each other. I mean, I did say this video wasn't made for kids, but geez. Uh, yeah, so, okay, where are you going? Do you have a parking space? WF F170. No. So let's park these up from here and inwards. WFJ184. Yes. Q196. Okay, so it's just you and back basically that don't have any space. But PO is getting seriously, seriously full. So, let's get all these parked up. Uh, I should be able to let the game run a little bit now, while I get everyone sorted. In fact, you know what, these buses stand out so much, I'm just going to, you know, let them park up wherever they want. And then I can play whack-a-mole. Well, not whack-a-mole, it's so that I don't have to play whack-a-mole. But, uh... Yeah, Palmody is now colours when you look at it from above. Isn't that nice? I love it when things are colours. Nope. Nope. There, you can go there, yeah. Uh, that's a normal Renown. Ooh. Now I have to be careful. Oh no, that, that goes to that one. That's fine. That goes there. Yes. Da, 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 da. Any orange roofs? That can't be all of them. How many are there? There were 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that is all 14 of them. You are stinky. Where are my cleaners? Anywho. So. Why do I think it's time to leave the Y reg? Hmm, why is it time to leave the Y reg? You know what? Let's have one more batch in the Y reg. This is going to be Y119ZGG. And finally, we have Y144ZGG, better known as VW144. We're getting up into the very high fleet numbers with these renowns, which, to be fair, part of the reason why I started this series, I won't lie. But don't these bright coloured roofs stand out? Like, these look fabulous. In fact, I'm just gonna... There we Think about how the, the thumbnail screenshot will look. Uh, there. There's the thumbnail. These look amazing. The lines aren't perfect, but they are amazing. However, that is Palmetty pretty much full. And I'm probably going to fill the rest of these spots, these final six spots with VTAs because the uh, the allocations for the 15 and the 16 are quite tight and that's going to be pretty much PO spoken for so yeah we're not going to be uh, paying much oh, we're not going to be paying too much attention to PO going forward because we've only got six spaces left But there you are. How many drivers do I have? I have 269 drivers. How many buses do I have now? 249. Can I hire any more? I can. I now have 277 drivers. What if I want more? I can have up to 280 in my current setup. Very, very nice. So. Who's broken? We have five broken buses, two renowns, and three daffs. I mean, that is going to be something that I could look at. I could look at shifting the DAFs because of the recall that happened a while back. You know, sort of because Palmody was so badly affected by the recall, they get rid of their daffs way before they're due. Because they just, you know. You know? That sort of, that could be a little plot line. Just like how the uh, poor reliability of these early on, because they get breaking, is going to be, or was a plot line, and that's why we started buying the darts. However, these renowns, these renowns are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, let's act, let's first of all make it so that the uh, 105 and 106 have the correct vehicle type preference. You want 105s. And let's also make it, make sure that it is set up to show destinations. Because, you know, especially that these are going from our main depot. We want to see those. The 105 is set up. So let's go over to the 105. Isn't it nice? Just about see the whole thing. And we will activate.
Yeah, I'm keeping you here for the lags, but you know, this is a playthrough. Play through with me. And then the 106, which is significantly shorter. Let edit timetable. And this is gonna want the 106. And we'll make sure it's set up for B10 uh, for destinations. Very nice. So let's go to the 106. And activate. There we go, both of our routes are activated. Let's go into the shift scheduler. There are 45 assignments today. Across both, wow, that's a surprisingly no low number of assignments, I won't lie. It is a Saturday, but still, Saturdays are the same frequency. It's, it's the same offbeat frequency seven days a week. I need to go right to the end. Well, not quite, but... Because these are low numbers. Oh, and I need to make sure that I'm putting 106s with 106s and not 105s. Yeah, don't be making that mistake. We aren't that kind of company. Although, let's have a look. Earliest finish, so... Oh, there's one that... Oh, that's a 105. This is going to happen a lot, I think. Well, let's get a 12.20. Here's the first finish there, so 12. There we go. Next 106 is 12.45. 1300. 1820, 1835, go over to another page, and go back to the start just to make sure, I think this is the only one, that 530, and then I'm going to get the rest of these allocated as efficiently as humanly possible. So, we need all bar one of the uh, 106 vehicles and all bar none of the 105 vehicles which I think is actually a good thing because the uh, Saturday timetables are normally less efficient because having those peak time extras just helps things fall into place a lot better for the early afternoon shift changeover so I think, you know, if you have enough vehicles for Saturday, you're good. If your Saturdays are the same frequency as your weekdays, that is the, the big asterisk there. So, uh, I don't remember when the first bus is for either room. So I'm just going to... I think the first bus might be an eastbound 105... But either way, that's not going to be until about until about 5 a.m. So I'll uh, catch you back. Stop the presses. I see both buses. I see a 105. That's going to be on the 0455. And I see a 106. That's going to be on the 5 o'clock. 105 wins. So, 0455, Castle Milk St. Martins to Glasgow Ford Retail Park. What an exciting destination. So, first bus of the day, on a Saturday morning, very nice, part of the Glasgow Superloop. If you can think of a better name for it than the Glasgow Superloop, uh, don't worry about it, it's already called the Orbit. Um, this, of course, being Orbit 105. So how you're meant to refer to this is not just the 105, it's the Orbit 105. And then, of course, you know, the other one that we launched today is the Orbit 106. 
Also, what was that about that I was talking about in the uh, start of the episode? Um, about the the B seven Ls being important today? Nah, nah, nah. We don't have time for that. B seven Ls will become important, just not today. And then you know, there's a Carmel station that's only served southbound or westbound in terms of the route in general. This part of uh, Glasgow seems very, very residential, and then you end up in Shettleston. But this part of Eastern Glasgow just feels really weird. I don't know, it's like, it feels like there's a lot of nothing here. So, you know, it's one of those things. You know, it's one of those places where there's a lot of people, but not a lot of things of note. But maybe I just don't know the area all that well. It's highly likely. I know almost nothing about this place. And now just pulling in to... Or pulling through sort of... The western bit of Easter House, I believe? Yeah, western bit of Easter House. Which I believe is called Wester House. Wouldn't that be, uh... Wouldn't that be novel? And that's going to head back on the 555 towards Glasgow. However, I'm going to jump back to Castle Milk, which is here. The next 106 is at 6 o'clock. Where is it? Yeah, I think that 6 o'clock's been cancelled. Let's head back to Thingy. Ah, oh, you've just started and you're busy. Hello, busy. Now, this is the first route that goes up the, uh, the air road in Newton Mans. The 7 is going to be the uh, direct service between Glasgow and Mil uh, Newton Mans. Um, and that's also going to come down air, air Road as well. I think that kind of goes without saying, because that is the main road. And obviously we share this bit as the Orbit 106 with the 190, which is the main route between um, East Kilbride and Paisley. Now, wouldn't this, this part of town be such an amazing place to be a bar spotter? So many renowns because there's three routes through Clarkston that have renowns there's a 106 190 and 229 and I want to get these stops named between Busby and Clarkston or oh, Busby and Kalmanek it's just you know trying to find road names ooh fuel's cheap love that Again, there's going to be a direct service um, to Glasgow along that road. But uh, I was told by my friend who knows more about this area than I do to serve uh, to serve Castle Milk generously because of their poor access to rail. Um, I think I have done so. It is the start and end points of two of the um, of the loops, or two of the orbits routes, and it's got two further services: one cross town with triaxles and one linked to the forge. So you know, I think this is doing quite well. I think Castle Milk are doing quite well out of uh, out of national busways. And with that, I'll end that there. Bye-bye.